after 45 years, the Kings can wear their crown. Score! The Los Angeles Kings are indeed the Kings of the National Hockey League. Stanley Cup Moments, presented by McDonald's. It's another low-scoring game for the Kings. It's another loss. And the scoring woes continue here in Los Angeles. A little bit of surprise when you look at it. At the end of the night, it was a shorthanded goal. It was the only goal that the Kings were able to score. And the Kings have to find a way to manufacture some goals. Well, as the season progressed and you're heading down into the stretch run, uh, the trade deadline, of course, uh, is, is looming. And the Kings still are a very good defensive team. They're getting great goaltending every night from Quick. Um, they're not scoring goals. There's always a little bit of unease in the room uh, around that time, especially on a struggling team that, that should be better. From the outside, people think trades are like, you know, fantasy leagues. There's so much more involved. We thought we were still one top forward away from being a legitimate contender. All the players are wondering, one, am I going to get traded, or two, who are we trading for? There were a lot of rumors that so-and-so might be shopped around, and, and Dustin Brown's name came up. Dustin's name was being thrown around there, and thrown around pretty liberally by a lot of people. I mean, I guess it's part of the business. My name was out there. It was a tough time, but coming to the rink and doing my job, getting on the ice and practicing was the easiest part. It was more or less going home. I mean, it's my livelihood, so if I get traded in the next 24 hours, everything changes. I think everybody knew something was going to happen, and uh, you, you kind of you realize who's, who's the most appealing, you know, for, for a trade. They win the draw. Johnson left circle, a shot. I remember, you know, talking to Dean and saying, if, if we move Jack and we're slob, we're not going to lose a whole lot. And, you know, you look at it. I mean, Jack's a very good player, don't get me wrong, but so slob of line up. He's very, very good defensively, has a bomb of a shot from the point, passes the puck really well, is very skilled, and then defensively he's just uh, becoming better and better every game. It's the one piece in the organization where you say, take one guy out, put Slava in, and put a score up here. Those are the types of deals that make sense. The deadline is approaching, and they make the trade. Uh, they acquire Jeff Carter. When I found out about the trade, I was at a season ticket holder event at the arena, actually. Uh, felt my phone vibrating off the hook in my, my pocket, so I kind of figured something had happened. My initial reaction was uh, a lot of excitement. What was important for us at the time is we needed to get a game breaker, and Jeff Carter is exactly that. He's the kind of player that he can play the game and plays a good game, and next thing you know, he gets the puck once on his stick and it's in the net. It's always tough to see a guy going, but at the same time, we needed scoring and we needed we needed it immediately and to get a guy like Jeff come in here. It, it's again too the excitement was was high right away. He comes into the locker room and he's got that added scoring touch. We think it just brings that level of confidence up. You know, I was excited just to come in and try and be a piece of the puzzle and, uh, and get things going in the right direction. Then you get to the trade deadline, and even though I believe that teams were inquiring about Dustin Brown as opposed to the Kings going out and putting him out there, it almost created a story unto itself. I sit beside Dustin in the dressing room, and then the trade deadline, that game we played, you could see a little bit of a change in him, a little bit of how nervous he was, and, and you know, obviously he didn't want to go. Dustin's our captain, and those were rumors started by others. I wanted him to know that those kind of trades go through ownership. It was maybe 10 minutes before I went on the ice. Um, Tim comes barging through the trainer's room. He's looking for me. Tim went to him before the game and said, hey, you're not going anywhere. I just told him, be our captain. Win the cup. Here's Brown in front. He shoots. He scores! Win the draw. Shot by Martinez. He picked up his game, kind of showed them, uh, I'm going to play so well that there's no way you can even think of trading me, and that's what he did. Brown for the hat trick. feel you have a player struggling, just put it out there that you're going to trade him. It was truly incredible the way uh, Dustin played. You see the character of a player when things are not going great. When sometimes 
Times are tough, you have a choice to make as a player. I mean, he was possessed that game. In that game we played, he goes out and scores three goals in a row, and it just uh, he just took off from there. If you look statistically, that was certainly a, a turning point, and the record was quite a bit better. The goals, four, were a lot better. You know, our lines were all set. There was no line juggling at all after that point. Everybody had their role, everybody knew their role, and then played it. That's when the identity and the kind of the beat of our team changed quite a bit. Uh, we started to get much more consistent, started to get bigger, faster, uh, stronger on pucks, and played a much quicker uh, in your face style of game. I, I give Dean credit. He, he told me when I had breakfast with him the first time, he said, there's going to come a time I'm going to call you, and we had to add the pieces. But when we do, I will make sure that those are the final pieces. And he told me finally with Jeff, this is the piece. He was right.